All right, so first up, I gotta make the kids something really quick this morning because they do go to school so early. So I went ahead and stuck some of these Trader Joe's pumpkin spice bagels in the oven. I like to toast them up all at once because I have four kids and just one little toaster, so. <laughs> And then for their side, I'm gonna be washing up some different berries. I have blueberries, blackberries, and raspberries. I'm also washing them up for their lunch boxes too. So now that those are ready, I'm gonna go ahead and put the whipped cream cheese. And if you haven't tried the whipped cream cheese, what are you doing? It is so easy to spread all over your bagel and it just makes wraps and bagel spreading so much easier. <laughs> Okay, so now for the kids' school lunch, I was running late and I was like, you know what? What could I make them? I was close to making them just like yogurt parfait, but then I was like, you know what? Let me make them some overnight oats, but for their school lunch. So I thought it worked perfectly. Plus I use oat milk too, so it's not gonna go bad. The milk's not gonna go bad in there. I also have an ice pack. So I just put some fruit on the side, a little thing of some coconut shreds, two cookies, and of course it's October. Gotta make their school lunch spooky. Okay, fine. Chocolate milk, but then I get to pick the snack, okay? Uh, you guys want thieves? No! Or do you want thieves? No! Which one do you like? Um, that one, that one. I want that one. I want that one. All right, so now it's time for my breakfast. So today I'm gonna to show you how I make my favorite go-to egg salad that's so easy and simple to whip up. So I have three boiled eggs and I just like to slice it up with my egg slicer. And then I add in a half a tablespoon of mayo, salt, pepper, some green onions, and the key ingredient, you guys, is these green onions. I like to add in a good amount and mix it all in, but then I also save a little bit for later to garnish it all on top so it's packed with a ton of flavor. So once that's all mixed up, I'm gonna go ahead and put a bread to toast. Sometimes I like to make this into a sandwich or sometimes I like to bake it like this with one bread and just slice it down the middle. And then of course I like to put even more green onion on top and that is it. So easy, but it is delicious. And then I have some fruit on the side and then I'm gonna go ahead and take my seven <laughs> capsules of collagen. Don't recommend this one because you have to do it seven capsules four times a day, which is crazy. I honestly just need to suck it up and drink the collagen, but I just, I hated it, so I thought I liked this better, but I don't, so I think I'm just gonna go back to drinking the collagen. <laughs> you got some raisins? Yeah, I can. Okay, you ate it all up? Yeah. I put it in the trash thing, girl. Did it. Good job, I'm gonna go play. Okay, so now I'm gonna whip up something for the two little ones and I for lunch. So I'm gonna go ahead and use up an apple, a whole one. I peeled half of it because I know they're not gonna like the skin on it and I just dice it up really small. I'm gonna do it to the other side of the apple too. So the plan is I'm gonna go ahead and saute these apples with some coconut oil and some cinnamon. So I went ahead and melted the coconut oil first. 
I then threw in all the apples. I was gonna do a separate, but I was like, let me just go ahead and throw it all in together. And then I just took some cinnamon and sprinkled it all up until it was nice and coated, mixed that all together. And then I kept it on medium heat until they were nice and soft, not too soft, but just like perfect like this. So the plan is to make some yogurt parfait so I have some non-fat Greek yogurt. So funny thing is that the two youngest ones don't mind like unflavored yogurt but the two oldest they need to have like vanilla and stuff in their yogurt so it's cool that they don't mind the plain yogurt so anyways put the yogurt put the apples and i put some pumpkin seed granola on top and then that is what we're gonna have for lunch it's like so warm and like cozy and delicious perfect for this time of year and it's so ridiculously easy to whip up it kind of tastes like a caramel apple So for dinner tonight, I'm gonna make some creamy lemon pepper chicken with some rice. So first up, I got out two chicken breasts, butterfly them, and then put those in a Ziploc bag. And I started to flatten it down with my little hammer, just on the more thicker parts, just so it can cook evenly. And then I went ahead and got started on the flour mixture. So I put a cup of flour, with all of these delicious seasonings and mix it all together really well. So for this dish, I thought it would be perfect to bust out my cast iron. So I put some butter with olive oil. And then I coated the chicken with a flour mixture on each side and then threw it in the pan until it was nice and cooked all thoroughly. Once that was done, I put it on another plate and set it aside. So that way I can start making the sauce. So on the same cast iron, I minced a half of a white onion and three garlic and threw that in with some olive oil, put in some chicken broth, lemon juice, some cornstarch, and some heavy cream. And that is what's going to make it nice and creamy and look like this. And then I went ahead and turned off the heat, added the chicken back in, then I garnished it with some fresh lemons on top with some dried up parsley, and there you go, that's the creamy lemon pepper chicken. And then on the side, Eric actually made just plain white rice, and these two together paired so good, you could even pair it with like pasta or like a salad but my kids really love white rice, so they had it like this, but for me, I really like the sauce to go all inside of the rice, so I put the rice on the bottom and the creamy chicken on top. The best. What you think, girlfriend? That's good. And then of course, like any other dinner, Ezra just didn't like it. He usually likes his food. Like he, He's a really good eater when he has like ketchup, but we ran out. So he kept asking for ketchup and we didn't have any, so he was pissed. But Emma loved it. She ate pretty much everything, just left a little bit of rice. And they also had some pink lemonade too. Okay, so now for my favorite part. I wasn't gonna even make this, but I was like, you know what? It's October. Have you even made this all fall, you guys? Can you believe it? And these are my go-to. If you've been following me for a while, you kind of already have a guess of what it is. These are my go-to pumpkin caramel cookies. They're so delicious. The best. If you guys want something to put you in the fall spirit, definitely make these. When you take like one bite, you just feel like just this overwhelming sense of fall. They're surprisingly not too hard to make and I feel like they make the perfect amount, especially when I bake. I like to make a lot, like a lot of a time so I could just like store it away and kind of have it throughout the week. And I have a lot of kids, so you know, have a lot of people to feed. So these actually make a good amount. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave the recipe on the screen for you guys and also in the description box down below too. But I've made these almost every single year and they're just so good. 
the best so yeah guys hopefully you enjoyed today's video if you did give it a thumbs up also if you aren't already make sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified every single time i upload a new video also if you haven't noticed by now i lost my voice and it's just super raspy and not the same <laughs> I just got over being sick and yeah, I'm excited to be back. I feel so much better, just my voice is a little off. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you all very, very soon.